let's go and uh, see that. So, this collections. So the meaning itself, you see, it is telling collections, collection, collecting, right? Collecting mm -hmm. the data, right? So So collecting are a group of things, you can keep it in one place. That's the collection, right? So a Java collection, in, so generally, it's one of the framework or methodology, okay? Which provides an architecture to store the data, to store the objects. You can store the objects and manipulate the group of objects. So you store them first, then however you want, you can uh, manipulate that objects. So that is the, this collection means. So Java collections uh, used for many purposes, like you can now uh, search, uh, you know, particular element, particular object, value in the group of elements. You can sort the collection. You can insert the new element. You can manipulate, you can delete the element. So all this related to objects only. You cannot uh, no, deal with the primitive data. You will deal with only objects. In the collections, you can store only objects. So that's what the definition here. Java collection means a single unit of objects. In one unit, many objects you can store. That's the collection means. A collection framework provides many interfaces. Collection provides many interfaces. Like uh, you have a set, list, queue, DQ interfaces. These are the sub-interface of collection interface. Collection is the one main interface. Under that, you have a sub-interfaces, set, list, queue, DQ. And these interfaces must be implemented in somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. So those interfaces are implemented in a realist class, vector, linked list, priority queue, asset, linked asset, Reset these classes, these interfaces are implemented. I'll give you in detail. So, which interface is implemented in which classes and which interface is going on uh, uh, implementation in which class? I'll give you in detail. So, let's see the hierarchy where all these collection classes and interfaces are available. Which package? They are available in java.util package. So, which contains a lot of classes and interfaces. So, if you see this hierarchy, the root interface is iterable. The root interface is iterable. And the parent, the topmost interface in the collection is iterable. Then you have a collection interface. So, all these, you know, yellow color, these are the interfaces. And a collection again subdivided into few more uh, interfaces. So collection has a sub-interface list to set to queue, DQ. So these are the sub-interfaces of a collection. So that means list extends to collection. Collection extends to iterable. This is the what kind of inheritance? Hierarchical inheritance. Hierarchical. Or um, multi-level? Multi-level, right, sir. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. List is extended to collection. Collection is extended to iterable. Mm -hmm. Collection parent is iterable. 
list parent is collection. So it's a multi level. <laughs> So that is the this. Uh, so hierarchy, uh, how it is, no relation. So again, set is a sub interface. So the super interface of that one is collection. Collection parent is iterable. Again, Q is the sub interface. It is related to collection. So DQ belongs to so Q. And basically, DQ also belongs to Q only because both are Q and DQ. Uh, so I'll I'll explain what is Q and so how it is. Now mm -hmm. let's go. Okay, this interface we we are most interested on in collection, list, set. These three only we need more mostly. So collection has a few methods. Generally, interface means few met abstract methods will be there, right? <laughs> It has a few methods and this also has a few methods. Now, when you extend a collection to in iterable, iterable methods can be accessed in the collection interface. Collection methods can be accessed in the list interface. List has some more methods. List has its own methods, but list can access collection methods, iterable methods also. That's a multi-level in inheritance means, right? Mm -hmm. So this list can access all these two parent interface methods here. But access, it can access. But the implementation won't happen in the interface inside. Never happens uh, implementation inside the interface for abstract methods. So where this list is implemented? In the array list, link list, vector classes where the so list is implemented array list class link list class vector classes see three classes inside these list methods are implemented not only list yeah. methods list to collection iterable all those methods are implemented in these classes That is the, so this collection, how it is. So then set is implemented in hash set, linked hash set and tree set classes. So what is the, so difference between list and set? We'll discuss further, okay? But first understand these hierarchies. So set is implemented in which classes? List is implemented in which classes are very, very important. You should be very clear on that. Set is implemented in the asset class, linked asset class, and tree set classes. See, set has another sub interface, sorted set. So these are the different uh, no, things. Again, see, QE is implemented in the priority queue class. DQE is implemented by Array DQ class, link list class. These two classes are implementing the DQ interface. So this is the hierarchy of complete a uh, collection hierarchy. So there is one more map is there. Map is not part of this hierarchy. Map also part of collection, but that's not. But why that is not part of this is that way of uh, storing is different. These way of storing is different. This single object, it will store in the memory. So objects will store in which memory? Heap. Hmm? Heap. Heap memory. So hmm. what are all object class methods? Hmm? So I... I need equals, answer. Equals, I remember okay? equals, yeah, okay. Object yeah, methods. equals is one method. You're mm -hmm. right, okay? But still there are many methods. So even just to object dot, if you put, you will get all the methods in your uh, note, uh, even your uh, Eclipse. Mm -hmm. Object dot, if you put all the object class methods, it will show. There are so many. 
clone method, get class method, hash code method, equals method, notify method, notify all method, finalize method. We already discussed all this two string <laughs> method. Right? But most important for us is you should be very clear on equals method and hash code method. What mm -hmm. is equals method? What is hash code method? Okay? Mm -hmm. Make sure you read them again from object class. Okay. So what are the methods of this collection interface? Okay? Let's understand each method of collection. So there is a first method, add method. And the parameter is object type element you can insert into the collection using this add method. Why you will use add method? You want to insert one element into the collection. You will use add method. So how you can call this add method? Collection object dot add method. Collection object dot add method. And you are giving that element. Okay? That means this element will go and store in this collection. So is it clear the first method? Mm -hmm. Next, add all method. Add all method. See, you are giving a collection. Collection means what I told you. A group of objects, right? A group mm -hmm. of elements. So you can join this group of elements with this collection. So that is, so this add all method is used to join two collections. Bunch of elements you can add to another collection with the add all method. See, these are all one. So that's a collection dot add all. So you can add a group of elements into this collection. So it will add these elements so whatever the elements are here, the next place it will add all these elements. Next, remove object element. So you want to delete this element from the collection. Make sure you should have this element. If element is there, it will delete. If element is not there, it won't delete. So how can you call that method? Collection name dot, like collection object reference collection object reference dot remove object element. Collection object dot remove element. Which element you want to remove? That element you are giving for the remove method. It will remove that element from this collection. If it is not there, this element, it will return false because this is a return type method. Okay? So that's mm -hmm. the one. Remove all method. See, you can remove a collection of elements from the specified collection. So you can remove the a group of elements from the main collection. So that is a remove all method. See collection dot remove all collection C. That means you are removing this collection of elements from this collection. Okay. <laughs> so that's a remove all method. And this is the very important size method. See, the size method is a return type method. All these are non-static method. That's why you're using object reference here. Again, I'm telling you, you didn't give answer yesterday. I am giving again. So this is not a class. This is object reference. All abstract methods are non-static methods. Make a note this point if you don't know this point. All abstract methods are non-static methods because you are implementing them. You are overriding them somewhere. Overriding will happen only on the non-static methods, right? Mm -hmm. Not on the static methods. I hope you are clear on this polymorphism concept. Yeah, I remember it from um, studying abstract classes and uh, interface. Sorry? I remember the, the point from studying the abstract class and interface section. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So those points are very important. See? So all those basics very important here. Mm -hmm. So now, see, this is the return type method. That's why. So this returns an integer. 
what this size method will do? It fetches the number of elements in the collection. So collection name dot size. So this will give you the count. Next, clear method. Clear method removes the total number of elements from the collection. You want to clear everything from the collection. You can use a clear method. So how you can call this a wide method. That's why you see no return type. Collection name dot clear. So this collection will become zero after calling this method. Everything will be deleted from this collection. Contains method. So element you are checking, you are searching. This element is present or contains by this collection or not. If this collection has this element, then you will get a Boolean value that is true. If this element is not available in this collection, you will get a false. That's why this is a return type method, returns a Boolean value. Next, another most important method is iterator method. This iterator method is declared in this iterable interface. Here it is declared abstract method. So what is the purpose of this iterator method? Very, very important this method. This size method, iterator method, add method, you, this contains method you will use widely. So read all these methods. Tomorrow you need to explain all these methods to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So iterator method is used to iterate your collection one by one from first element to last element you want to iterate one by one. How can you do that? Generally, you have for loop for each loop, right? <laughs> but for all for and for each, it doesn't work out. And you can use, they provided their own method to iterate the any collection, either list collection or set collection or anything you want to iterate. You can use this iterator method. Why you will use iterator method? To iterate the collection. So because collection means group of elements, right? Mm -hmm. You want to iterate from first element to next element, next element, next element, till last. How you can iterate? One way is iterator method you can use, direct method you have. Or you can use a for each loop. Or you can use a normal for loop. So, but they provided their own method. So, you, if you don't want to use for each and for loop, you can use iterator method directly. Okay? So what is the concept? See, this iterator method returns a iterator interface. What is the return type of this method? Iterator interface. Sir, till now I have seen a return type only primitive type, but you are showing now interface. The method is returning interface. I already told you in the methods concept. The return type can be anything, any type of data type. It can be a primitive, it can be a non-primitive data type also. I don't know whether you, if you go to methods topic, there is a return type section. There I mentioned very clearly. All primitive data types I mentioned, non-primitive data type also uh, I mentioned there. So I told you, what are the non-primitive data types? String, class, enum, uh... Interface. Interface, yep. That's a main important. Mm -hmm. So all your web driver, you will use only non-primitive data type, your methods will return. That's why non-primitive data type, see this method is returning now, non-primitive data type, that is interface. Mm -hmm. This iterator is one of the interface. The method is returning an interface, object. Mm -hmm. See now, Iterator, it equal to, it is a object reference of this one, this iterator interface. Collection name dot iterator. Now what it will do? This iterator method will go to first element of this collection. That element will get and store here. Okay? Like that, mm -hmm. all the elements it will iterate one by one. Not all at a time. One after the other. One after the other. Okay? That's what the iterator. Now this it object Type is iterator. And this has a, some more methods. Those methods you can use to refine how you want data. Okay. 
So those <laughs> methods I'll explain this, this interface uh, methods I'll explain on that variable, you can use this interface methods to refine more. Okay, next to array method. So you want to convert the collection into array. Then you will use a two array method. So collection is different, array is different. Collection is a dynamic data structure. Array is a static data structure. Array is fixed in size. Array you can store only fixed type of data. But collection you can store only objects, no primitives at all. In the array, you can store only primitives and non-primitives also. But their array, you have to fix the size while creating the array itself. But here, you don't need to specify the size. That's why collection is a dynamic. You can store how many elements you want. You can remove. But array is not like that. If you fix the size, only that many elements you can store there. You cannot reduce, you cannot increase. Runtime, you cannot increase, you cannot decrease. Array, that's the array fixed. That's why we are calling static. Array is a static data structure. Collection is a dynamic data structure. So it will change dynamically. That's the collection concept. So you want to convert that collection into array. So you have to use a two array method. Okay, this return type is object array. Object single dimensional array, it returns. So return type of the method, array name equal to collection name dot to array. See everything from methods only. Everything from methods only, I'm using all the places. That's why return type methods concept to wide method concept, you must be very, very clear how to call. Next, is empty method. Is empty method which checks the collection is empty or not. If not empty, it returns boolean false. If it is empty, it returns true. Next, equals method equals object element. So it, it compares the collection element. This you need to get the collection element and you compare with this, uh, this element. So this element and collection element is same. And it returns true, else it returns false. That's the equals method. Retain all method. Retain all method. Whatever you give here, those elements only retains. Remaining elements will be deleted. Remove all is different. Remove all, whatever you specify, those only will be removed. But retain all. Whatever you give, that group of elements will keep, rest of them will be deleted from the collection. So that's a retain all and remove all. Don't confuse between these two. <laughs> so how to call again collection dot retain all and give the this collection name. So which one you want to retain from this collection? So what the retain all means, you have to give a group of elements that should be available already in the main collection. Right, then only you can it will retain. If the element is not there, it cannot retain. Right, you have to give which elements you want to retain from the main collection. That's the all the methods from the collection. There is one more hash code method. Hash code method returns the object heap address. Object heap address heap heap memory inside it has some memory address, right? Mm -hmm. That object address will be written by hash code. See, that's what I'm mentioning. Equals method also, object class. Hash code also, but they are overriding here. So these are all concepts are very, 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 very important. Okay. So mm -hmm. that's the collection methods. Please read and come back this till this point. Be strong. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's it. I'm just.